Hey guys, what's going on? It's That Home Theater Dude. Got a brand new episode for you today. I just got my Ultra Center in the mail. Super excited about getting it hooked up. I took out my Klipsch Center channel and I was going to replace it really fast. But I figured since I had both of them out, might as well just shoot a quick video and uh, give you the specs in between the two. And uh, these comparisons are a little bit, uh, you know, uh, take it with a grain of salt because they're different speaker brands, they're different series, they're different almost everything. You know, so uh, if, if you guys are on the fence about buying one or two of the, or, you know, either one of these, then maybe just the quick and dirty specs will help you out, uh, make your decision. I know whenever I was looking for speakers, I went to YouTube a lot just to see what people thought about them. So maybe this will help you out. So first and foremost, I have my RP450C. It is Klipsch's reference premiere center channel. Very great uh, center channel. Really enjoy that thing. Had it for six months now. Great performance out of it, but... For uh, several months, I've been checking out the Ultra Series at different events. I've been checking it out in person, hearing them, hearing the demos. Really super impressed with it. So I wanted to go ahead and get it in my house so that you know I can hear it in my environment, hear it with my setup, and you know, you know, actually just hear it, you know, in in my home theater. Because you're not going to necessarily get the best type of experience whenever you go to the showroom. One, they don't have things calibrated like they should. And two, it's a big old showroom. Some mo most of the times, they're just big old open spaces, so you can't get the the actual sound, the per the the r more realistic sound that you would at, at your house. So, uh, just saying that, I'm gonna go ahead and jump into the quick specs of these, okay? So first and foremost, one of the things I look for whenever I buy a speaker is the frequency range. So starting off with the Klipsch, they have a frequency range of I think 58 up to. 25,000. So the human ear pretty much hears, you know, somewhere along the realm of 20 to 20,000. So anything above that, uh, you may or may not be hearing, but uh, either, either ways, it's in the high res audio type of arena. And the Ultra Center, that one goes from 45 hertz up to 32,000. So like I said, um, a, a little more range from the Ultra Center than you actually do with uh, the Klipsch. Now this isn't a contest, I'm, I'm, I'm just going ahead and just giving you the, the quick facts. So next thing I look for whenever I buy a speaker is the how much power do I need or how much power can it handle? So you know th those are two different questions. I should have uh, you know skipped that first statement that I said, but basically how much can the speaker handle? So the RP450, the Klipsch, that one handles 150 watts continuous RMS, and Klipsch does um, something very simple with all of their speakers and their ratings. They will give you what they handle, you know, RMS, which is continuous, and then basically they quadruple that, and then they give you a peak. So if you have a really fast, like if, if you're listening to a quiet movie, and all of a sudden there's a really fast explosion, so it'll just basically tell you how much it'll handle just for a really quick burst rather than, you know, continuous, uh, like if you're going to be listening to like, a, you know, like music or, you know, uh, a, a normal steady state type of movie. So besides that, the SVS does things a little different. So what they do is they give you a recommended power rating. So if people want to run these with external amplifiers, you know, everyone, everyone has that option. So you can either run, um, amplifier power which is going to be from your um your your receiver or you can run external amp amplification which is what i do and a lot of ho other home people do uh, home theater people do it as well so svs what they do is they give you a recommended uh amplifier power rating and they they do it between 20 watts and 225. so like i was saying if you're going to be doing external amplifiers pretty much almost everything that you're going to see out there 200 watts is uh you know golden if you're going to be getting anything above that like the you know 300 type of realm uh that's probably i think that's what a uh, emotiva puts out you don't necessarily <laughs> i'm gonna hold my tongue um what i do is I, I i use a nice safe 200 watts power rating so or power amplifier so with the uh, Ultra, that, that one fits perfectly into what I have. I have three of my outlaws powering my, my front stage, which is my left, center, and right channel. So I have 200 watts going to each one of these, and um, that's just the way it is. 
So like I said, you don't get a peak power rating with the Ultras like you do with the Klipsch. So, I mean, uh, you, you, you can probably do some fuzzy math and try to figure out, you know, what the actual peak is, or you can call them, whatever you'd like to do. You can even go on their little website and do like a, a live chat with them. But those guys are fast and friendly and, you know, they'll be able to help you out. So if, if you guys can get more information than me, um, let me know. So another thing I look for is, this is the big one. This is what I've always been taught, you know, tail as old as time, ever since I was a kid, to go ahead and look for the sensitivity rating. The higher the sensitivity rating, uh, what I always thought was the, you know, the better the speaker. It means the higher the sensitivity rating means the least the speaker has to work to recreate the same volume at a certain, at a specific distance. So I was always taught that, you know, 90 is good or 90 is great. Higher than 90 is, is, you know, perfection. So, I mean, ever since I was a kid, I bought subwoofers that way, I bought speakers that way, and I've, it's just been ingrained in my mind that that's just the way you're, it was supposed to be done. And one thing that SVS has going bad for them is that a lot of people that have that mentality in mind, like I did, you kind of get turned off to their speakers because they're only at uh, 87 decibels. So 80, 80, 87 is, is, is pretty good. I mean, they, they, there's a lot of different speakers out there that, that are in the, the, the high 80s and um it's across the board that every every speaker that i've seen from svs is at that 87. so um it's it's kind of one of those things that if if you're stuck in your own mind with it you know you it's ingrained in your head that you know you need a high sensitivity then you know by all means go ahead and use amplifier power or your avr power and then run all your speakers off of a very highly sensitive speaker but if, if you want to do external amplification if you want to still do your ampli or your avr power svs is a great uh, option as well just because it's 87 decibels doesn't necessarily mean the speakers aren't going to sound great um, that's just been um, something that i've noticed i've noticed that whenever i've demoed these things in person i've been just been blown away 100 percent. i mean like they're great speakers they have amazing clarity and just pretty much anything that you would ever want in a speaker you're going to be getting it out of those and if <laughs> if you're stuck in your own mind i'm gonna go ahead and keep beating this dead horse but if you're stuck in your own mind with a sensitivity rating then uh at least give yourself a uh, the fair shake and try these out in your own home or at least even just go to the the, the demo room and check them out yourself um you you will be impressed i, I highly guarantee it so jumping off that soapbox, I'm gonna go ahead and jump into something else. So next thing I look for whenever I buy a speaker is, you know, what do you get? So with the Klipsches, you get these ostentatious copper and black drivers. I mean, like, just look at them. They, they, they look amazing. Whenever you have an entire room full of these speakers, like, it's 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 an amazing type of presence. Like, they, they look back at you whenever you're, you know, you're in your room, it's it's it, it puts a smile on your face. Um, if if looks is is what it, what is very important to you, then, I mean, by all means, Go ahead and grab the Klipsch because a lot of people, they're very popular for that specific reason. Some people don't care what they sound like. They just want Klipsch because they look cool. Um, and one thing that I will say with SVS is you get a lot different styling with the, Ultras, with the Ultra series themselves. Um, both of these are available in black, black um, piano black finish, but I opted for the piano black finish for the Ultras and that's an, that's an, an option for the Klipsch's as well. It just costs a little more money. Same price for the uh, the ultras if you wanted a piano black or black ash. So with the speakers themselves, I'm gonna go ahead and just show this real quick. First and foremost, you're gonna get these five and a quarter inch drivers, and there's four of these. All right, let's look at this real quick. We'll, we'll talk about this real fast. <laughs> Whenever I was making my acoustic panels, uh, I kind of uh, put it in a vicarious way, and it kind of wiggled down. So it didn't hurt the speaker itself. It's just superficial but I'm just gonna come clean about that because you can obviously see it. And uh, what you get is you get those four five and a quarter inch drivers. You get this one inch Tractrix tweeter. It's recessed in there. And uh, looking at it, just look at it real quick. And if you've ever seen like a, a movie where like they're filming a movie themselves, kind of like a director's you know, lens, they have that type of effect on it to where it's, you know, that, that, that same shape. And the tweeter is recessed in there and I've noticed that whenever I have these clipshes, is I kind of get like a window of sound. I think I've mentioned that in a different video. It's not necessarily good or bad, but I mean, like if you're not in the sweet spot, you're you're not necessarily going to be able to get, um, you're not necessarily going to be able to get the 
the, the, the type of sound that, that you would like or the performance that you would like. So going over here, you get a different type of approach to this one. You get two six and a half inch drivers, right? These are both crossed over at the same frequency from what I've, I've seen. And they're different from the ultras because these are three and a half, three and a half way speakers. You have the, you know, ba uh, bass drivers down below. And then you have uh, these actually crossed over at different frequencies. And then you have your tweeter themselves. So that's a three and a half configuration. This is just a three way configuration. So you got one, two, three. So you get a four inch uh, mid bass driver in the middle. You get your spherical dome tweeter up top that you're very familiar with. And then styling wise, you get that mirror black finish. It is seriously a mirror. And then you get these machined type of trim surrounds on everything. So really cool between those two. Um, I think these are, you know, the three ways, but everything I've seen for these, they're just a two way crossover. If you guys know anything different, please let me know. I've seen it to where they have, uh, it's like a, a, a snippet that I've seen, like a, a picture that these are crossed over at a certain frequency and these are crossed over at a certain frequency. So, you know, you get one frequency and then, you know, another set of frequencies on the outside. But I think I've, that, that's just been a, a diagram that I've seen like on one of the Facebook groups. I'm not necessarily sure if that's the truth or not, but you know, what do I know? I, I, I just own these things. So on the back, you get a one and three quarter inch uh, port and you get two of these. Five way binding post, really cool. Um, if you wanna buy amp these, you can. You don't necessarily have to. Um, if you wanna buy wire these, obviously you can as well. Um, either one of those configurations, you would probably just want to go ahead and remove that uh, gold plate. So you got that one, you got this one over here. So what you get on this one is you only get two of the binding post and you get this big old, like you could fit a sandwich in there. It's a pretty big type of opening. I think it's called a Tractrix um, rear port. So completely different design behind these things. This one is a little longer. I mean, I guess wider. So whenever you're, what you trade off between this one in width, you get this one in height because this one's, you know, not as wide, but pretty tall this one's not as tall so I mean just looking at the quick and dirty specs on these things I wanted to make this video hopefully if you guys you know like either of these then um, hopefully this video will help you out if you want to buy any of this stuff that you get if you guys see in my you know in my home theater I'm an SVS affiliate I'm an Amazon affiliate so I have links to everything in the description and also on my Facebook page so if you guys haven't gone there already Go ahead and uh, check out the description. I have a Facebook page. Uh, if you guys want any of these links, let me know. And uh, if you guys want to go ahead and follow the Facebook page, I really appreciate that. Like it, follow it. Don't forget to like and share, subscribe to this channel as well. I'm going to go ahead and sign off here, and I'll check you guys next time.